and a local art and souvenir shop is offering the community the opportunity to learn the basic principles of leather work located just in our downtown el paso's finest art and souvenir shop provides a hub for borderland artists to sell their work ktsm9 news reporter jesus baltasar visited the shop today and he brings us the full report rafael batres walked me through the process of making this simple yet fine airpod leather case in just under 20 minutes He's now teaching people the basic principles of leather making, but says it's a skill that's taken him five years to hone. My journey as a leather artisan began around four to five years ago. I was working on a leather motorcycle seat and I didn't, I didn't do it right. It came terrible, but with that came all these bags and wallets that I just continued and everyone keeps keeps liking not just my product, but the craft itself. Batres says leather making has been a therapeutic craft for him. He began Timothy and Luke Leather just four years ago, naming it after his kids. He recently took over the Opaso's finest art shop a year ago and is now incorporating his art into the mix. Even offering classes every first and last Thursday of the month on the basic principles of leather making. It's a good thing to learn these leather crafts because you could just apply it in every aspect of your life and learn how to just fix things, patch things. Once you notice the little details of leather craft, you can start moving a lot faster. Leather being a finer quality, Batres says it gives people the opportunity to create something that will last a lifetime. If you take care of it, condition it, you last hundreds of years, which your kids will probably be fighting over it when you pass on. Now Batres says the most important tool for a leather artisan are his hands. From the studio, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.